Greetings everyone, and Grade here with another H Powers 4 replay. Spawn on the bottom right side as the Red Byzantians. We have one, zero one. Spawn on the top left side as the yellow Ayubids, we have Anno Tond. The Ayubids do have access to improved berries. Right now these berries collect the face the same rate as deer, as well as have a bit more capacity as well. House wisdom going on up, very nice. When it comes to map generation, you got gold next to stone, next to some deer, as well next to a trading post, so that seems like a good expansion location. And great, I immediately get a spam bot on my first replay for today. Uh, one moment. We get rid of that. And spawn them. Not spawn the bottom right. For the bottom right of the map, we do have a bit of berries here for the Byzantine player. We do have an early olive grove. Looks like it's going to help him prolong the sheep, as we generate a bit of olive oil. Looks like he's going for the Grand Winery, which is not uncommon. We got berries next to a good amount of stone and gold here. Here, spawn up at, up front. I just realized something as well. Both tree deposits are in forward in front of Blue's base as well. So he has quite a bit of a natural barrier. And quite a bit of gold, stone, and berries, as well as other deer deposits down here as well. So he has a pretty good amount of congested resources in this side of the map. For Red, you know he has some forward resources here. <clears throat> a little bit more exposed. His trees are off to the side, so he does have some natural protection in this direction. And with this tr small tree deposit going along with the big tree deposit, doesn't need too many walls wall off this side of the map. And there's actually quite a bit of berries on this map, isn't there? I see four patches of berries. No, five patches of berries on the red side of the map. Blue has one, two, three, four. And of course the one he's collecting up so that he does have five patches of berries. We do not have wheelbarrow being researched by the Ayubid. Got two cisterns on the field, but not bothering to get the aqueducts to attach to a chest yet. It does provide each one does provide 10% max, which is quite nice. <laughs> we do got multiple spearmen now being pulled up by the Ayubid player. His one is going for some Lunatami. Lunatami. that. They do have more health compared to hardened spearmen, so compared to two, we notice here you have 100 health, 8 damage, and 1.88 attack speed versus the spearmen, 8 damage, 1.88 attack speed, and 90 health. So, Lumtani, they do cost 10 more resources, but they have not 10% more health, just 10 extra health. Overall, they seem relatively cost effective compared to two. But the nice thing about Lumitani is they also cost 80 food and 10 wood rather than the 60 food and 20 wood of the Hardened Spearmen. So the cost is more towards the food, which is easier to collect up as wood does have diminishing returns. <clears throat> I did not see what he aged up with. I think he went making up green growth. Yeah, he has extra villagers. You can see the extra capacity in the berry bush as well. He does go and shoot the sheep. Sheep down. Yeah, the sheep will take a hit. But he's a stalwart sheep. Ready to lead his people to glory. So he survives that arrow. We also got the wolf now pushing his way forward. Getting some bites onto the spearman. He's demanding for the stick to be thrown. We also go have the archer push way forward. Get that damage on the Lumitani. <coughs> now you've been players pulling out more and more archers. The Byzantine player does get a mercenary camp on the field and going for some Javan Flores, a good all rounder range unit, which does do bonus damage as other range units. Do spawn groups of four at a rate of 160 olive oil, or no, not 160, 460. Outpost going on up. Blacksmith on the way. Probably be eyeing for some range damage upgrades. And Jamblers do also have a large amount of inherent range armor. Three. His opponent is going for the economic researches. Has the wood already, so you get all the basic economic research. 
Right now, the army composition is very similar. Do note that don't generally charge the army value. That generally doesn't uh, count up the olive oil units. In addition, Lumentani does have, it's considered an 80 rather than 90. <clears throat> As if we do any sort of offhand math here, of course, got the Javan Thirds, which are 115 itch. And we know that is actually 460, so there should be at least 460, and that's not even at that point. So right now it's just only counting up the eight, uh, four times 80 plus 70. So right now the Byzantine army is much higher quality, just to say the least. Do you have some more berry bushes being collected up over there? Private gold there. Is he aging up? Yes, he is aging up. He's going for the cultural ring advancements. Makes it cheaper and faster. Golden horn tower now being pulled on the field. It is out of the range of the cistern, I believe. Does always ever get affected by cisterns? You know, I actually never really pay attention if it does get affected by cisterns in the first place. But this will buy him some pre mercenaries in this case. First round would definitely be javelin throwers. I wonder. Ah, he could have got mercenary royal knights. If he would have not have deployed out, uh, researched the contract, he could have got mercenary royal knights. Which will can be automatically produced by the Golden Horn Tower, and once he gets the veteran mercenary contracts, he also get Merc could have got mercenary horse archers in. Horse mercenary horse archers are not bad. Well, horse archers I should say, not necessarily mercenary. But horse archers are basically similar cross or the same to crossbows, but rather than having bonus damage is heavy, they just get bonus speed. <coughs> Additionally, if you get the foreign engine company, they gain access to Boyar's Fortitude as well as Gatlin. This villager is going to be pushed to the corner. Doesn't jump. Do a flip. Nope, he decides just to hover there. Which is so impressive. But now, he loses that villager means he's now pinned to the corner, and they are not going to do flips either. So he will lose all those archers for killing one villager. That's probably not worth it in the short term, but in part in the long term, it would be worth it because that villager will provide value given enough time. Which I think the base collection rate of a villager right now is like, let's assume 50. And he did lose four or five archers there, which is a value of 200, no, 400. 80 times five is 400. Right? Yeah. So, and 50 divided by, oh, I suppose 8. 8 minutes. In 8 minutes, if my math is incorrect, that villager, killing that villager would have been worth it. That's probably correct. No, it was 80 seconds. Oh yeah, that's definitely probably worth it. We got a pair of camel lances here, but and they will break through thanks to the scout, and that villager will be impaled, no problem. And looks like textiles is not researched because that did quite a bit of damage. Yep, no textiles just yet. I collect the berry bushes on the high ground, which is relatively safe. But of course, they can be pushed to the corner as well as again. Amelancers do get some, another kill there on the villager. Gamblers do have good base damage, so they're able to punch the armor a little bit better, even though they don't have bonus damage versus armor. So far, Blues cut off four villagers, so this has a nice little villager advantage. 
Now I got Maganel being plotted on the field. Do have some Geelongs being plotted on out. Paradorfs on the field as well. Red has picked up one relic, while blue has claimed one relic. The monk will spot everything there, though he may have not spotted the Maganel. I don't cancels that, but I don't think he needed to cancel. I don't think he had vision of it. Maybe he did? Monks? What's the vision rain of monks? Sorry. I never really, really remember that top of my head. Uh, yeah, that's actually a chance the monk could have spotted that. Not sure. But he probably wouldn't get it constructed either way since the army was advancing. We do now have the Wolvo over here by the Dervish. And a scout will barely escape out of there. We do have the Camel Lancers on the way forward. Limitani and Varanian Guard trying to stop him. We do have. A nice square of olive groves here. This one probably not being very well placed, honestly. Could get a mill right there to help out with that. The Byzantine player does have a decent amount of wood, so as the natural berry deposits are start gets cleaned on up. He can go ahead and collect up or, or get some more olive groves. One village does go down. Textiles become a bit of a problem, the lack thereof. Another village does go down. And the last Cam Lancer does go down. Cam Lancer right now, base damage is 12, which is not enough to two shot a villager. But the Impalement plus the follow up slash is. Now I got the Maganel right there. Load up with fire. Uh, it's probably best to do not go with the fire effect. The AoE effect is quite nice. So the AoE barrage, but I think the point damage would do more damage against something as thin as a wall. Right now we've got an army of 46 versus 42. Got a good number of dragon throws on the field. A very, very nice number. He hasn't, the Goldenborn Tower has not been pulling out the... Castle Wage one you know you can get, which is what, Camel Riders? Yep. Camel Riders will be, they do both save versus Camels, or Cavalry, in which they should, Camel Riders should be not half bad versus the Camel Lancers. They have no inherent armor, but they have relatively, with the bonus damage, relatively similar, slightly higher base damage, along with much higher health. Camels have usually higher health, though Camel Lancers have less health compared to Knights. Well, camel riders have much greater than health than knights. Go damage there onto the outpost. Archer taking some damage there. Random guard trying to pursue against them. Does take up that archer. Got some Elons along the flank. Random guard taking quite a bit of damage there. Elons. Up on the mark going on down, Javelin Riders, Javelin Throwers starting to get overran. The Maganel does not get any volleys on the Javelin Throwers. More Javelin Throwers right there, Dervish here. Could activate Mass Seal to get a little bit of the AoE healing, healing going. Elon slowly getting hooks down. Spring Gold engaging the Maganel, very nice. Vanguard also gains some damage, and that one slice there helped out sniping that Maganel in two shots for the Spring Gold. <laughs> A number of Javan throws there. We do now have the fortified outpost being pulled on the field. Garvish does go down there. Elon does go down. Lumentani does take a little bit of damage there. Got a mill and an outpost going on up. Trying to steal some of his opponent's buried deposits. Crossbow's been blown a field. His opponent does have a good number of raining guard, but mostly still it's just Lumentani. Camel Lancer charges his way forward and does get the charge hit there and does get stabbed to death. Monk. Actually, that sector, we've got some archers taking some pot shots against those down throwers. We see a job, but we do not. 
Maybe we got an idea to go from uh, some Master Smiths. So, Trade Wing and Advisor is not half bad either. And I'm assuming the Trade Wing Bazaar, the favorable trades are probably almost free. I never know I don't know what the H4 and H3 of that one goes. So, we we'll only see an ever an H2. But I'm presuming H4 is basically, those trades are basically free. If they're free, they may have been worth it. Rather than, I'd also say I would rather see that sort of rechange rather than a random assortment of stuff, which that's too much RNG. If it like just gives supply points to make a number of trades, that would probably be much better. And then perhaps the number of slide supply points change per age, or the quality or the favorability of the trades get improved per age. That's probably one way to help rebalance that one. It has potential. The problem is just potential is too much uh, prone to RNG. Maybe one way to think of a uh, good way to do it is get one supply point every for uh, say the feudal age one. You get one supply point every two minutes and match the military wing reinforcements. But with that supply point, is gives you a free choice of anything there. Maybe a little bit too powerful compared to say. Military wing reinforcements, but of course it also means military wing reinforcements does also provide the cavalry to build siege units, so it's actually very powerful that people don't really use. But those are just ideas. Maybe one supply point, instead of one supply point every two minutes, be one supply point for three every three minutes for a free trade, and those supply points can generate over time, so you don't have to really go for it. You can, but it probably take time to deploy those supply points so you can't just spam click it out to get a whole bunch of defensive mercenaries those are just ideas though <coughs> and the number of supply points every say three minutes will change based on which age you start out you got it in over here we do have some of the reigning guard or limitani gone down there these forces are just being pursued right does have a decent army here he probably could have hit it into the brush there and tried to do an ambush his button didn't have a scout in the region so he could have got an ambush but right now the problem is he doesn't have any spearmen in order to gauge the camel answers, even though they're there in small numbers. Just because you get an ambush doesn't mean it's going to be a good ambush. Oh, there's a good number of Limitani there. Red's arm is slowly backing on us and the Brandon Garson will be left behind. He does not have teardrop shields to improve the movement speed. No oh, wait, that's a uh, movement speed for uh, Limitani, right? Not the Brandon Guard. Starting engage now. Some of the Camel Lancers are getting stabbed to death. Ground Throwers getting some good damage. We've got Sultan's Mameluk research now. Well, research. Ground Throwers doing a good job of not focus firing, which means they're not doing a whole lot of overkill. It, Red does lose his front line, so he does need to start falling back. We've got a Maganel here. Another reason to fall back. Maganel does not get a volley off. <clears throat> Got some reinforcements of random guard there. It does have three spring balls there to snipe that Maganel. This is also a spring ball in placement, which we'll start whittling down everything. So maybe a dervish in this region to help provide some AoE healing could be in order. Got third spring ball now being field deployed. This is a secondary town center, so the Byzantine player does play a secondary town center.
لقد انتهى الامر We just got textiles research, so Nas Villagers was a little bit more durable. We got some cam riders here. I had to mention them beforehand. They have 28 damage, no melee research, so this is pure. They also do bonus damage versus siege. They also have pretty good attack speed as well. Don't doubt camel riders. They're actually absurdly durable. I mentioned they have 270 base health, which is higher than knights, which are what, 230? There's the Flame of Barrage there, which also can do some great damage against all of Groves. Dragon Throw is way forward. We got the Maganel going down, so those red Spring Balls are nice. That's a Spring Ball for Spring Ball. Red's Maganel is a blow in the field. Dragon Throw is still in here, good numbers, but some of them are going down to the Geelongs, which are being proved by Sultan's Mamelukes. Maganel placement there. Red does lose all of the Siege Weapons, barring the Maganel, so keep that live is quite nice. Right now, Blue Spring Balls are fighting such minor fire support, so not super useful. And not until the Maganel pushes forward. Red's Dragon Throwers are still here in pretty good numbers, able to deal with these various range units no problem. Camera Riders not pushed way forward as well. Good volley there in the spring gold. Magno firing. Builders are now shaking that Limitani. Another round of camera riders now being employed on out. Fly from the Golden Horn Tower. Yes, it is. More outposts. This time a red outpost is already out in field. Been fortified. Has been upgraded for Spring or Maganel. All blues outposts are not yet started and they would be prevented. A number of camera lancers now pushing up here. Single villager collecting up stone. He may want to get on out of there. He will be impaled. He does have textiles research now, but still vulnerable to a bunch of camels impaling him. Got <coughs> 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 a round of walls now fully built over here. As well as secondary walls there. He has cleaned the berry bushes over here. These berry bushes are still slowly being cleaned on up. Still actually a decent amount of berry bushes there. So maybe a good idea. Whoops, sorry, my microphone. Maybe a good idea is to send another three villagers up there. I would say it would be adequate number to collect those up at a reasonable rate. Lumitani now moving around, trying to stab these cam lancers. Lance Illumitandy there starting to take some damage. Got a good number of archers there. These Illumitandy that do not have a shield wall up. Animals taking some severe damage. They may be able to win that fight, but it won't be a great win. Red's not pushing his way forward. Oh, look at that. Red had a quite a bit of uh, olive oil sword up. He just bought a large amount of stuff with it. And going for camera runners, unless he sold a good amount of it to the market. I think he may have sold off a, a large amount of olive oil there to the market. Olive oil does have the same conversion rate as wood and food at the market. Not as valuable as stone, but if you need gold, you can quickly go for that. He does have enough gold to age up, and he's a bit more food. He has been a bit more uh, drown throwers. You have the Silk Road Mercenaries. He will get access to, what, the Grenadier? I always get the last one. Yep, Grenadiers. In Imperial Age. The Ivy player, he may be aging up. No, he's not. So, probably you either go for the... Military wing reinforces is not bad. Master Smith is not bad, and advisors is probably not the bazaar.
You see now the veteran spearman research and the Ford Engineering Company. This will improve his camel riders to have additional armor and provide additional armor. In addition, you have access to olive oil units. Grenadiers will be deployed on available as well, which may not be half bad against the IU bid since they do have uh, more of an infantry composition on the field. That is getting decaptured. Wall does go, or gate does go down. The village is trying to quickly build up another round of walls. I don't think they're going to be successful. The Brandon Guard have broken through, so I'm slicing up some of these villagers. We do have the Gilons and Arcus and a good number of crossbows engaging. Age up not complete. Age up has not started for the Ayubid. Brain Guard now engaging the villagers. These Brandon Guard will be focused down, no problem. <clears throat> Got some Brandon Guard over here. He does have the camel support, but camel support will improve the armor of these nearby units by one. Actually, it looks like it's actually plus two. Yep, it is plus two, which is not bad. I the aura was one, but I was mistaken. We got a big line of stone walls also being pulled out by blue. <clears throat> Even right here as well. Oh, I hear a bombard. Oh, no, it's a French royal cannon. Mercenary cannon. Now, Royal Cannon has quite a bit of a family back home to feed. That's why he's on the war. Barracks now going on down. Taking out some of that Ford infrastructure. There is a secondary town center here. Red does have a slight village of lead, only by a small margin. We got some Byzantian hand cannoneers being pulled in the field. Another Royal Cannon as well. No Kwee Kwee Pals or Nesta Peas. We got a keep here, but it does get cancelled. The number of farms will be going down. The IUB player does have some wood to work with, but we will lose a good number of the farms. Cam Riders starting to go on down. They're elite Cam Riders. As these amount of olive oil stockpiled up, not going for any Grenadiers. I think Grenadiers would be a great option right now. They would offer quite a bit of good fire support against all the infantry, as well as provide some good fire support against the buildings. <clears throat> the Goro Cannons can utilize the artillery shot ability. And there's a good amount of infra uh, archers right there, so the artillery shot ability there could be quite useful. He also has a Magnell firing away. Got a Magnell here as well, being picked off by the Goro Cannon. And there goes all the artillery or magnels for the Ayuba player. There's some camel riders. And Blue does back of the game. This angry saying, thank you for watching, and on to the next replay.